Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at creating zigzag, wavy and scallop edge shapes in Photoshop and this is pretty easy with the most recent versions of Photoshop. I have a square document open here. You can create any size document that you like. Now we're going to the shape tools. Typically this will show the rectangle tool but I'm going down here to select the polygon tool because that's where all the action is. Now you want to make sure that you've set to shape here. You can do path, pixels or shape, but we're going to choose shape. And then you're going to choose your choice of fill. And I suggest that right now you only use a fill. So I'm going to choose this sort of green color. I'll click once in the document because that gives me access to the create polygon options. Now I'm just checking my document here. Its dimensions are 1280 by 1280. So I think a shape that is sort of about 900 by 900 will fill this document pretty well. I can then choose the number of sides. Now I want to create something that's got zigzag edges, so sharp edges. I'm thinking probably about 25 would be good for this. I don't want smooth corners. I do want a star. And I want to indent the sides by just a little bit because that's going to give me my zigzag. In effect, this is a star with very, very small points. So I'm thinking I might indent the sides by maybe only about 7%. But I don't want smooth indents, so I'm going to click here to disable this. So effectively, I'm creating a 25-pointed star. Let's click OK. I'm going to the Move tool. I'm just going to move it into position. And here is our zigzag edge shape. Now, because it's a shape, we can add a stroke to it should we wish to do so. So I'm going over here, making sure my polygon layer in the layers palette is selected. I'll go back to the shapes tool because you can see that there's no option here for adding a stroke and you're never going to get access to it easily unless you choose a shape tool. So you could choose here the Path Selection tool or you can just go back and select any shape tool and that gives you access to these options. I'm going to add a small stroke to my shape. So there is the zigzag edge. Let's just disable that. Let's go and add a different shape this time. We're going to create one that has a wavy edge. So we're going back to the Polygon tool. I'm just going to change the color slightly here. Let's go for a dark edge and yes, let's put on a stroke while we're here. We'll just use a narrow stroke. I'll click once in the document. Again, I'm getting access to the Create Polygon tool. Again, I'm going to make my 900 by 900 in size. The number of sides, I'm just going to leave it 25, but this time I am going to choose smooth corners. I do want a sort of star shape because I want it to come in and out and the star shape is going to give me the ins and outs. So yes, it's not going to look like a star, but we're basing it on a star shape. And again, the indent sides, I think 7% looked good last time. It's going to look fine this time, but this time we want smooth indents and I'll click OK. And there we have our shape. It's got this sort of wavy edge. It's got 25 points around it. That was the 25 points. It's based on a star, but it's got smooth edges. So there is a way of creating something that's got wavy edges. You might use that as an award banner, for example. So we've got two shapes so far, one that's got very zigzag edges and one that's got smoother edges. But what if you want one that's got scallop edges? Well, that's a little bit tricky, but it's still achievable. Let's go back to our shape tools, but this time because we want a scallop edge, we're actually going to start with a circle. So I'm going to the ellipse tool. I'm going to make an ellipse that is 900 by 900. So effectively it is a circle. I'm going to move it back into the document here. Now it does have a stroke on it and creating that circle has actually opened up the properties panel. Right now for this shape, I don't want a stroke. So I'm just going to turn the stroke off. I'm going to the layers palette and I'm going to make a duplicate of this ellipse. So I want the ellipse twice in the document. So I'm just going to add a second version. I'm going to turn the topmost version off for a minute. It has to be the topmost version because in a minute it's going to act as a sort of mask to hide something that we don't want to see. Let's go back to the second to bottom one, the one that's actually visible. With it selected, let's go back to a shape tool, any shape tool, because we want access to the stroke options here. So I'm going to add a stroke color and this stroke color is going to be the color of the scallop. So you could make it the exact same color as your shape, 
for me, I want to create it as a different color because I want to show you how you could create it as a different color. If you're going to create it with the same color, you don't actually need this top shape. You don't need to have saved that, but let's go and make it a different color. Let's go and make it quite a bit bigger. And now let's go to the actual stroke options, which is this drop down here. What we want is a dotted stroke. We're going to click on more options because we need to set some different options. We want to make sure that we're working with a round end. That's always going to give you the dots. Now this one's on the inside. I want it to actually to be centered. So I want it to be half on the outside, half on the inside. You can see how this is going to give us a scallop in just a minute. Next, I'm going to look at this gap option. Now, if I set the gap to zero, we're going to get a solid line. But if I set the gap to one, we're going to get this very fine scallop edge. Now it's not perfect. It is a little bit tricky to get it to be perfect here in Photoshop. But let me just click OK here. With the circle still selected, I'm going to start working on this size. So let me just make it bigger because I don't think my scallop is big enough. I want quite a big scallop, so I'm going to start with it at 40. And what I'm going to do is continue to increase that value just a little bit to try and get these a little bit further apart. So I'll try 40.5. Okay, if I wind back to 40.4, I'm getting what I want. So you might need to fiddle with it a little bit until you get an even scallop around the edge of everything. As I said, Photoshop's a little bit unforgiving there. You will need to just work out what's going to give you the best result. Now, having done that, you can see that we've got a sort of scallop edge, but it looks more like dots around a circle. Well, that's where this shape comes into play. Remember, we saved a version of the circle that didn't have any stroke around it at all. When I turn it on, that's what we get. So we get a scallop edge shape. Now, as I said, if you wanted this to be the exact same color as the rest of the shape, then you don't actually need to have saved this top copy. Let me just go and make these both the same color. So if you want a scallop shape that looks like this, you can do it all on one shape. Just make sure that you create this dotted line and make sure that it's centered over the edge of the shape and it will work out perfectly. If you want a different scallop, then you're going to need to do this sort of two layer effect. So there are two easy shapes and one a little bit tricky shape that you can now create inside Photoshop. Before we finish up, I have additional Photoshop training at Skillshare.com. When you sign up for Skillshare, you get access to thousands of classes there, including over 200 of mine. In the description below is a Skillshare coupon for you, which is at least as good as the current Skillshare offer, and typically mine will be better. Please feel free to share this coupon with family and friends. So I hope that you've learned something here about Photoshop of which you were previously unaware. If you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and that notification bell so you'll be alerted when new videos are released. Until next time, my name's Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.